शिवा ओ नम शिवा
time relaxed. Because as Vedanta explains, Nothing to become. There is nothing to achieve. I am all right as I am. How can I be all right as I am? I find myself a limited being in every way. I generally find myself inadequate. Very often, I find myself helpless. How can I say I am all right as I am? I find myself inadequate. find myself helpless. And I have no choice but to accept things as they are. Because I cannot change things. Is that, is that helplessness a legitimate feeling? I cannot have things my way. I have to adjust. I have to compromise. I have to let go. Is it not helplessness? Now and then there is an event where I have my way. When things happen the way I want. But more often than not, Things 
they're different from the way I want them to be. I have to compromise. I have to accommodate. I have to let go. I have to be content. I have to be. That is what makes me helpless. But that helplessness has come because I think that I need to control. I need to control my life. I need to control the situations. I need to control the people around me. I have taken for granted that I am alright only when I am in control. I am not alright when I am not in control. I am not alright when I have to compromise. I'm not all right when I have to let go. Thus I have a conclusion about when I'm all right and when I'm not all right. And the way I feel, happy or unhappy, is based on this conclusion. I have a conclusion that when my desire is satisfied, when I have my way, when I am in control, then I'm all right. When I feel I'm all right, I feel happy. On the other hand, when things do not go the way I want, when I cannot have my way, then I feel helpless. Then I'm not all right. Then I become unhappy. This happiness and unhappiness are reactions to my own conclusions, my own opinions. I conclude that I am not alright when certain things happen. I conclude that I am not alright or alright when things happen that do not happen. It's all my conclusions that decide whether I am happy or unhappy. This is where the free will comes into play. I have a choice to conclude in a different way. Why should I think that I'm all right only if I get what I want? Why should I think I'm all right when I can control? Why should I think I'm all right when I have my way? I 
I can also conclude that everything is all right as it is. That I cannot control something is all right. That I have to compromise is all right. That I have to let go is all right. Whether to feel helpless or not is my choice. I have concluded that I am helpless. When things happen in certain way, or do not happen in certain way. I have a choice that I'm not helpless. Just because things happen in certain way, there is no reason to conclude that I'm helpless. If I give things the freedom to be what they want to be, if I give people the freedom to be what they want to be, and giving freedom does not mean I'm indifferent to them. Giving freedom means I love them as they are. I normally put condition on my love. That I love a person where I can control. I love a person when I have my way. If I drop that condition, normally I retain my condition and drop the people. I retain my conclusions and let go of the people from my life. I have a choice to retain the people in my life and let go of my demands. That a certain person is lovable only when that person fulfills my demand, that is my demand. I have a choice. A person is lovable whether the person fulfills my demand or not. A situation is acceptable whether it is in keeping with my desire or not. Meaning that, rather than demanding that, the world around should change to accommodate me. I have a choice to accommodate the world and change myself. I have a choice to say that things are all right if they conform to my expectations and demands. Or have a choice to change my expectation, to change my demand and say that things are all right as they are. Either I can say that I like the person because the person conforms to 
my expectations or I can say the person is all right as the person is and drop my expectation. In every situation I have a choice to retain my expectation to retain my demands and accept to reject the world or I can gracefully accept the world and let go of my demands and expectations. I have been given a free will which I can bring to use in every situation by letting go of my demand, letting go of my expectation, meaning gracefully accepting the situations as they come. gracefully accepting the people as they are, gracefully accepting the world as it is, graceful acceptance means letting go of my expectations. Letting go of my demands. It is because of my expectation and demand that I feel I am not alright. If expectations are given up, if demands are given up, And I see that the world is all right as it is. Then I find that I am all right as I am. There is a teaching of Vedanta. And the world is all right as it is. I am all right as I am. Everything is all right as it is. For that I need to let go of my expectations that things should be different from what they are. I should let go of my demand that the world has to conform to my expectation. There is a letting go that is called Tyaga or renunciation. Tyage neike amrutattamana shuhu. It is my renunciation that many gained happiness. Renunciation of expectations. Renunciations of demand. Renunciation of binding desires. How do I do that? By reminding myself that Ishvara is the ordainer. He is 
is the creator. Every moment what happens is created by Ishwar. Human beings are merely puppets in the hands of Ishwara. He alone creates every moment. And therefore, when I gracefully accept a person, when I gracefully accept a behavior, when I gracefully accept a situation, it is the graceful acceptance of Ishwar. That graceful acceptance of Ishwara. which is translated as graceful acceptance of people around me, graceful acceptance of situations, graceful acceptance of my life, graceful acceptance of myself, Then I see that everything is all right as it is, and I am all right as I am. I don't want to become all right. I have to see that I am all right. Which eye is all right? The eye that is free from demands. The eye that is free from expectations. The eye that gracefully accepts. When we use the word gracefully, it means there is no resistance. is a glad acceptance. When my mind is in the mode of glad acceptance, then everything is all right and I am all right. That is when I see that I am all right. That I am all right is something to be seen. It is not something to be achieved. Chidananda Rupaha Shivoham Shivoham Chidanand Rubaham Shivoham Shivoham Chidanand Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Shivoham
இதம் பூர்ணாத் பூர்ணமுதே பூர்ணய பூர்ணமாதாய பூர்ணமேவாவசிஷே